Jefferson and, and uh, Ms. Secretary, uh, thank you for going to Morgantown to visit the uh, it was fun. <laughs> National Energy Technology Laboratory. Uh, um, I wasn't here in Congress in 8, 9, I didn't come to 11, uh, so I'm trying to get up to speed with all this debate that's, that's taken place, but I do have a, a report that was uh, or an issue fact-finding from the Nuclear Energy uh, Institute that indicates that in 2008 there were some 3,000 scientists across five laboratories and various major universities were involved in, in uh, filing this application with the DOE uh, for the permit. Um, and then within a year's time, that permit was reversed, or the application was reversed. Um, Mr. Secretary, uh, uh, other than an election being taking place during that period of time, what happened? Was there a change in science or technology that the DOE hadn't taken into consideration, or was this decision to cancel the, the application merely political? Well, in a similar vein, of course, I was not here as well. However, I would note that, as we've stressed, that uh, there are two essential conditions in our view. I mean, one is, one is good science, and number two is consent. What, 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 uh, that's exactly and, what I'm saying. What, and, what, what science changed between 08 and 09? There are two issues, science and consent, uh, and uh, the administration uh, felt that on the consent basis, this was simply not a workable uh, project. Was consent part of the law in, in 08? Uh, it, it's, it's a question of the, of the ground truth and the reality. Is the project moving forward? Uh, does the project have the ability to capture all the permits it needs, which include state permits? Uh, and so the project was deemed and declared uh, um, uh, uh, not, not workable. Mr. It, 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 just, it just, you know, uh, engineers or contract, we just, there's a feel, it feels political. It doesn't feel like it has anything to do with science uh, or technology. It just, but so uh, I, the, the question you were asked several times now, a uh, gentleman from Georgia was asking it. I heard uh, uh, the, the chairman uh, Upton from Michigan raising the same question that if it, using his numbers, because I don't know what they are for West Virginia, but when he said Michigan has invested 600, they've taken out, they've taken away from the taxpayers and businesses, everyone using the power. They've extracted $600 million from the residents of Michigan to pay for this facility. What, what have they gotten for that $600 million? Uh, well, uh, first of all, of course, and, and, I, your, and I heard your answer. It was really, well, that was a fair, that was a, the amount that's being extracted is fair. It will pay for the facility, but that's not the answer that I think that they were, that the question they were asking, what did we get for it? If we, if we wind up ultimately abandoning the facility, what did they get for $600 million in Michigan? The one mil per kilowatt hour uh, of, uh, has been paid in the rate base of all, for all nuclear uh, utilities for the federal government commitment to accept the fuel and move it from those sites. That commitment remains. But they've spent $600 million and it hasn't happened yet. So what happens with the amount of money that's already been expended? Are, they, are we going to refund it to the individuals? If, the, if we abandon, is, go to a is, different site, but, been, because I believe you're, you're, you're trying to answer a question, if, if, I, if I can put words in your mouth, that whenever the site is determined, that mill per kilowatt hour will be adequate to be able to facilitate this. But that's, yes, not, so, that's not the question. The question is, what happens to the $600 million in Michigan that's already been expended? They don't have anything. There's again, nothing to show for it. Uh, 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 again, the... The one mil per kilowatt hour is not to buy a facility, it's to buy a service. The service, as far as the utility concerned, is spent fuel removal. The failure to begin removing that fuel uh, Which was done on, fe on February 1st, 1998, has led to the payment of damages. Uh, those damages uh, are currently projected to go north of $20 billion back to the utilities uh, uh, because the service is not being provided. The service will be provided. Uh, that remains the commitment. Uh, and the funds in the meantime uh, are 
as I said earlier, accruing interest. Uh, in fact, I think in the current waste fund, I, I may be not quite right on this, but I think something like $6 billion of it is interest uh, that, that, that has accrued uh, over the time. So it is a service being purchased. Uh, that was a decision a long time ago by this Congress in terms of how nuclear waste disposal would be paid for. The commitment remains. It is no different. In closing, I know my time is over. Are you telling me that if this decision goes in our favor or it goes in the favor of Yucca Mountain and all the investment we have made, will the President uphold that? Or is this going to be another like DOMA immigration and uh, the employer mandate? Will he enforce this or will what he waive this? Uh, we have made uh, very clear we follow the law. If the court but he uh, has not the law. That is the problem. The he has not the law in other cases. The law will be determined by this court decision that we are all awaiting. Uh, and if it directs the NRC to pick up the license, we will do our job to support that, given appropriations. It will be up to the funds being to be, uh, be supplied uh, from discretionary or mandatory by this body. And there will be many other conditions that have to be met, including by the government, land withdrawals. Uh, there will be state permits many, many issues. And again, the judgment remains when you put all of this together, um, it doesn't seem very workable. Chairman, I apologize for running. No, you uh, did fine. Thank you. The uh, gentleman yields back his time. And, Secretary, you have been great. We have got one more uh, member here who 